Hey Home Base Nation, my name is Chris Manzano and I'm the athletic trainer and strength conditioning specialist for Home Base. For today's active recovery day, we're gonna go over knee, flexibility, and a little bit of mobility. So let's get started. So we're gonna get started with a seated hamstring stretch. So in a sturdy chair, you're gonna sit on the edge and you're gonna straighten out one leg with your toes pointed up. You can't see my toes, but they're there. Toes pointed up, sit up nice and tall, and you're just gonna hinge forward until you feel a stretch in that hamstring. And you're gonna hold this for 30 to 60 seconds. After 30 to 60 seconds, you're gonna relax, bring your leg back, and you do the other side. Toe up, knee straight, nice and sit up nice and tall, and just hinge at the hip until you feel a stretch. 30 to 60 seconds, you're gonna relax again. And you're gonna do that two to three times on each side. Now for a little change with using that same chair. If you need a deeper stretch, same thing. Put your heel on the chair, toes up, sit up, stand up nice and tall, and just hinge at the hip if you need a little more of a stretch. You get 30 to 60 seconds, two to three times each side. The next stretch is just a standing quad stretch. So using the same chair or something sturdy to keep your balance, you're gonna grab your foot, and you're just gonna pull your foot towards your, towards your butt or towards the back, standing up nice and tall. And if you can, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to pull that knee behind your hip to feel, to get a stretch in that quad. You're gonna do this for 30 to 60 seconds, two to three times on each side. So the next stretch we're gonna do is a standing calf stretch. So again, using that same chair or something sturdy, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your heel and you're just gonna stand back on it just like this. Bring that heel to the ground, hinging those hips forward, keeping that back leg straight. You're gonna stretch your, your calf out. Now you're gonna be wondering why we're stretching our calf. Well, your calf is made up of two muscles, your gastrocnemius and your soleus. Your soleus is a single joint muscle and it only crosses your ankle joint. Now the gastrocnemius is a two joint muscle where it crosses your ankle joint, but it also crosses onto your femur, onto this, your upper thigh. So which is why we're stretching it. So just like the others, we're gonna be stretching this for 30 to 60 seconds, twice, two to three times on each side. Now, after those stretches, what you can do is slightly bend that knee, keeping that heel on the ground, and now we're stretching that soleus. So you'll feel a deeper stretch, a little lower, on, a little bit on the lower part of your calf. Same thing, 30 to 60 seconds, two to three times on each side. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is a hamstring and quad mobility stretch. I'm gonna show you how to do it on your hamstring and it's the same thing on your quad if you're laying on your stomach. So seated on a, seated, seated on a firm surface, you're gonna take you know, a tennis ball, a golf ball, baseball, a cross ball, softball, anything that you have laying around, a frozen water bottle even works. You, you're gonna take this, you're gonna put this on a, on a tight spot on your hamstring, put a little bit of pressure, and you're just gonna straighten out your leg, toes up, and bring it down about two seconds up and two seconds down. You're gonna do this a few times on each spot that feels a little tight. You know, I would say about five reps. So three, four, and five. Now you can do this on just about any part of your body. Um, we're focusing today on the hamstrings, quads, and calf. Um, you can do this on your calf if you're laying down putting the ball here and just doing ankle pumps. Same thing, finding those tight spots on your ankle or on your calf and just moving your ankle. Same thing on your quad, laying on your stomach, moving the pressure point around on those tight spots and just flexing and extending your leg. So those were a few basic knee movements that you can do to help improve your flexibility and mobility. Now remember, Homebase has a whole library of exercise and educational videos on, at homebase.org slash operationhealthathome. Feel free to check those out and reach out to us if you have any questions.